In this video, we will cover the advanced search. We'll look at it through the vendor interface. To see the advanced search, you would click on the magnifying glass in the corner of the grid. To hide it, you can either click on the Hide Advanced Query Controls button, or you can click on the magnifying glass again. Once the advanced query is open, the first step is to choose your property. Properties are listed in an expandable tree format in alphabetical order. All of the properties associated with the object you are currently in will be listed. In this case, it's showing all properties on the vendor object. To select the property, you can double click or you can drag and drop. You can add as many properties as you want. And to remove a property previously selected, you would click on the X beside it. Once the property is selected, you'll need to choose an operation from the drop-down box and enter in a filter value. The information entered in the filter value is dependent on the property field selected. If a user chooses a property field of type Boolean, the user would have to enter in true or false. For example, active is a Boolean on the vendor object, so we want it to equal and then we would have to put in true that it is active. As the query is being created, it is also be po being populated in an expert box. The expert box can be used if the user would like to write their own query. Um, it's most helpful, helpful for troubleshooting or easily sharing queries. You can save a query that you can pull in, load in later. Saved queries are also seen in the report detail option and vice versa. You can load previously saved queries by the drop down at the top. As soon as you select the query that you want, it automatically populates that in your query. So then you would go ahead and hit the apply button. And you'll notice the results are automatically shown in the grid based on your advanced query. The clear button clears everything out so you can start over.